Hello, hello, it's Serpent Trading with another weekly update for Open Orphan. And we've had a very solid week this week. It's uh, been consistently up, nice up bar there. We've also closed past my initial target of 20p. So um, next week will be interesting to see if we actually can uh, drive up past this resistance level and get to the 35p target. It's, um, I didn't expect it to get up here quite as quick as it has. I was thinking two or three weeks. Um, but if it does break through here, then there's no reason why it can't hit 35p with, um, within the next month or so. Uh, let's look on the daily, on the daily chart and um, to see what happened uh, on a day-to-day -day basis this week. And you can see it's been pretty consistent, pretty steady rise all week. A rise, bit of a sell-off, a rise, bit of a sell-off, and finish the week on at the high. So um, news-wise, this week, um, we had on Monday, we had an um, announcement of a um, contract ring, um, another one, and uh, this is a £4.5 million uh, win for a, a virus uh, challenge study. And... Um, There's only good news coming out of this company at the moment. Um, they also released their interim results. I'm sorry, I'm highlighting stuff. I'm not actually reading it out to you. <laughs> uh, yeah, the CEO is talking about um, uh, how much uh, stuff is in the pipeline and uh, you know the the great staff he's got at his uh, company. And yeah, I'll just let you read that yourselves. Um, interest in becoming a volunteer? Uh, not really. I'm interested in making money off your shares. And uh, also, there was um, yeah, interim results um, for the past six months, and it's only just stating stuff that's already known about. Uh, they've got a good cash position, and uh, they shouldn't be raising any more money, but they've done two uh, fundraisers this year, and um, they're in a strong position and hopefully uh, going forward they should be generating a lot of cash and um, target wise if we're looking past the current sort of uh, 20p 35p marks that we've already uh, looked established um, I am just speculating on this uh, support line Blue lines are always speculative lines that just go on my chart and until I see a bit more support around them, they don't change colour. Um, if we do get this 35p, if we do hit 35p and then we came off and found support around here, then, then I might stop drawing lines everywhere. And... That could work as a, a very steep uptrend but with a market cap of um, 100 and whoops so I lost my note yeah market cap here is 135 million so I'm not really um, concerned about this company looking overvalued until frankly that they, they, they're reaching four or five hundred million so that gives us some good upside and obviously it's going to be um, peaks and troughs but uh, long term I'm really confident in this company that they're going to become quite a big uh, cash generation um, hopefully uh, if they announce a dividend this will be a long-term hold for me and I may sell a little bit when we get to the 35p but I think I might be looking at where the, the support will be and if we can sort of, from a technical point of view, see a nice uptrend where we can uh, just hold for the long term and keep earning those dividends. And uh, that's really it for me now. Um, as I say, that's my main... Um, My main target, has, my first target has been hit, 
and my main target is in sight um longer term i don't think there's enough price information here to really say anything you really got to look at the fundamentals the fundamentals in this company look great and uh i think they've got a lot a lot of growth ahead of them so it's going to be an exciting company to watch hope you enjoyed this video i hope you got something out of it and uh, i didn't ramble too much hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up leave a comment if you're on this ride with me and i'll see you in the next video